In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Daydream VR on your OnePlus 3 even though the phone is not officially Daydream ready and we're starting right now. Hi, my name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest about Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here on this channel, go and find that subscribe button to always be up to date about Daydream VR. With this important call to action out of the way, let's talk about Daydream VR and the OnePlus 3. The OnePlus 3 is an incredible phone. It's affordable, yet it has high-end specs. Specs that would actually make it Daydream ready, but the OnePlus 3 company doesn't think it's very necessary to get the certification from Google, so they don't get it. In my opinion, that's a major oversight from OnePlus, because I'm sure all the OnePlus 3 users would love that the phone is Daydream ready directly out of the box. But no problem, there's the Daydream district, which will tell you now how to use the OnePlus 3 together with Daydream VR. Actually, it's really, really easy to make your OnePlus 3 Daydream ready. The only thing that you have to do is you have to root your phone. That's the first thing you have to do. And the second thing that you have to do is you have to add two lines of code to one of the system files. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to root your OnePlus 3, but you can check out this video and the link is also down in the description, which will teach you how to root your OnePlus 3. Once you have rooted your phone, the next thing that you will need is a file browser that will allow you to browse the root files. One app that works perfectly fine for this purpose is called Root Browser and you can find a description to the Google Play Store in the description below. Now with this Root Browser, you will need to navigate and open this file. Check out this file and just before the permissions ending tag, you have to add these two lines. And of course, everything that I told you right now, you can also find in the description below. Once you have made the changes, the next thing that you need to do is you need to reboot your phone. Once you have rebooted your phone, go to the Play Store and download the following three files. Number one, the Daydream app. Number two, Google VR services. And number three, the Daydream keyboard. Again, you will find all the links in the description below. So if there is some problem with downloading these files from the Google Play Store, go to APK Mirror and get them from there. Once you have installed these three files, that's it. Your phone is now Daydream ready. Of course, you also need a motion controller. Either you get the original from Google, you get the $80 Daydream View headset and the motion controller, or you get any other cardboard headset and emulate the motion controller with a second Android phone. In case you have Daydream View and the motion controller, you are completely done and you can now start to check out Daydream District for all the cool apps and games that you can play now. If you don't have the original motion controller, you need to emulate it using a second Android phone which needs to have a gyroscope. Now on this Google website, there's a great tutorial on how to set up this emulator on another Android phone, so please do follow it. Once you're finished with this, you need to enable the developer options within the Daydream app. To do so, go to the settings within the Daydream app and click on the build version several times until there's a new option, which are the developer options. Within the developer options, make sure to turn on skip VR entry screens. And as a last step, choose your device under controller emulator device. And that's it for you too. Your OnePlus 3 is now Daydream VR ready. This video was part of the weekly Daydream VR Q&A show where I answer your questions concerning Daydream VR. So please do leave me your questions about Daydream VR down in the comments below and I will either directly answer them there or also make a video next week and answer it to you in a video format. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now.